2013 was the wettest winter on record, making driving conditions hazardous for many. In wet weather, it's essential that your tyres have enough tread depth to remove water from the road surface so it can grip the road and stay in control. Typically, a car fitted with good tyres can clear enough water from the road to fill up buckets in seven seconds. Without adequate tread depth, you face an increased risk of your car aquaplaning, which means you could lose complete control of the vehicle. To show aquaplaning in action, we took two identical cars and fitted them with identical tyres, but with different tread depths. The car on the left has brand new tyres with a deep tread depth, while the car on the right is fitted with tyres with a much lower tread depth of 1.6 millimetres, which is currently the legal minimum tread depth. Our test track has been flooded to replicate how a normal road could look after a heavy downpour. Let's see how the cars and their tyres cope with the hazardous conditions. Firstly, our car with deeper tread depth takes the test. The split screen clearly shows that when our driver steers the car, the wheels turn, which then causes the car to swerve on the track. Now it's the turn of our car with low tread depth to take the test. Here, the split screen shows that despite the driver steering the car and the wheels clearly turning, the car doesn't swerve on the track. Let's have another look at the car's movement on the track in a closer comparison. The car on the left has deeper tread depth and displays clear control when steered, while the car on the right has low tread depth and doesn't swerve when steered. This is because the car with low tread depth is aquaplaning. So why does this happen? This graphic demonstrates what happens when a tyre with insufficient tread depth comes into contact with too much water on the road. As the tyre doesn't have adequate tread depth, the water cannot be displaced and builds up in front of the tyre. The tyre then lifts from the road on top of the water with no direct contact with the road. The driver no longer has control of the car, which is an extremely hazardous situation. So how can you minimise this risk? An easy way to check your tread depth is to place a 20 pence piece into the main tread grooves of your tyre. If the outer rim of the 20 p is obscured, as this one is, then your tyres are above the legal minimum tread depth. If you can see the rim above the tread, these may be dangerously low and should be checked by a tyre professional. When buying new tyres, you can also compare their wet grip performance by looking at the rating on its label. For more information, visit tiresafe.org 